Good morning, Grumpy. Good morning. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday. It's 45 degrees and cloudy with rain in the forecast this afternoon. I was going to take it easy today, but you got to go with the flow sometimes. And the flow right now is, I'm oh, the, uh, this trailer. I'm going to try to hook it up to my truck by myself and uh, drive it around a little bit. Uh, you'll see here in a few minutes why. But yeah, I've caught, first time I ever drove a tractor. Yeah, I caught that on tape. First time I ever uh, drove a bulldozer. And now, the first time I've ever driven with the trailer. So, I'm not going to leave the property very far. a little fence rearranging just temporary uh, because I'm gonna try to back up the the trailer in here and here we go Not bad for a first timer and I put the trailer right there and then moved uh, that bale of hay because this is where my wood chips are so the idea is to get in there with the tractor scoop up the wood chips put them in the trailer uh, take the trailer 
with wood chips to the new place and yeah this is oh that's a good three feet tall and i don't even know how wide and long but those are a lot of wood chips that have been sitting here for a couple years and uh yeah so instant garden if i play my cards right can you see it raining behind me yeah it's raining so that's gonna be it for today oh no i'm bald all right first time driving with the trailer well i wouldn't call it driving with the trailer first time backing up a trailer about 100 feet and that works for me then we got rained out so did not load the wood chips in the trailer today hopefully that will happen tomorrow why am i taking those wood chips down to that new property and going through all that trouble and yeah uh i would like to have a garden <laughs> this year 2021 2020 i tried and uh i just did not have the time after well whatever 2020 was let's leave that in let's leave that in last year so this year uh instant garden yeah those wood chips are about two years old uh so they are well seasoned um and i plan on putting them in the front yard uh just covering that front yard as much as possible with the wood chips those aren't just wood chips though some of those are uh poopy wood chips uh, i put them in the chicken coops under the roosts and uh yeah it would and then i'd pile it up and then i'd go in there and i'd shovel it into the wheelbarrow and take it back over to the wood chip pile so some of those are very well fertilized with some very nice uh, nitrogen from the chickens so i think with the aged wood chips and uh, with some fertilizer mixed in there those should make a pretty good garden for this spring and yeah i uh yeah i was not even anyway i was not thinking about even trying to attempt to garden this year but if i can get those wood chips moved over there that will make my job uh a little bit easier to at least give it a try what i may i don't know what the soil is like in that front yard at all i'm sure it was dug out at one point for the road and then it's uh yeah so it's probably a lot of clay and a lot of rocks is what i'm guessing eventually i might want to do the raised beds uh, like I was planning to do out here because the uh, probably similar soil conditions But for this year I can get those wood chips spread out and uh, See what happens go from there I'm doing this right now because I might have some helpers on Monday. So but yeah uh, That would be that would be great to have some helpers maybe some surprise YouTube channel or channels multiple channels coming Monday anything is possible here at bobblehead homestead um yeah so that's the deal on that tomorrow we will try to load the wood chips in the trailer those can go down on monday i might have some helpers on monday to help unload them um and it doesn't uh drew and i did a truckload my truck bed we unloaded it at his place a truckload full and it didn't take us too long just the two of us and we even uh, dumped them into five gallon buckets so that he could spread them out where he wanted. So I don't think it'll take all that long to unload them. Um, only one way to find out though. So yeah, busy few days coming up here. I'm going to try to take it easy tomorrow other than loading. And I can't, I'm not going to be loading the wood chips. Uh, the, the expert tractor driver can do that, I hope. So, with that, thank you for watching. Hope everybody is having a great weekend, and take her easy.